Class, welcome back. Today we start our next chapter, chapter 6, and we are working on quadrilaterals. All right? Okay, so before we can really get into quadrilaterals, which are a very speci specific type of polygon, we need to talk a little bit about polygons, okay? So we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about polygons, and then we'll jump into quadrilateral stuff in the next few days. All right, so now this might be like 7th grade geometry, whatever, um, but it's still good to review. It's stuff that we need to talk about. It's stuff that you're going to be quizzed on and, and tested on, so we, we want to know what we're doing. Um, polygons. A polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more sides that intersect only at their endpoints, okay? Intersect only at their endpoints. Super important that you understand that they only intersect at their endpoints. We'll see that in a little bit. All right. Um, but so yeah, let's let's draw a polygon. We need to basically just draw a closed plane figure formed by three or more sides. All right. So how about something like this? Boom, 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 boom. All right. Sorry, that should be a little better. That's just meeting right there. All right, this is a polygon. Now let's talk a little bit about it. Um, we know that the sides of a polygon are the segments. So each segment, well, each segment that forms a polygon is a side of the polygon. So right, this is a this is a side. This is a side etc 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 we also know about vertex what a vertex is or what the vertices are of a polygon all right the common endpoint of two sides is a vertex of the polygon so let's take a look at this if i see one side and this side they meet right here right so this is a vertex or we could say this side and this side meet at a vertex. So there are vertex or vertices all over the polygon, right? There's more. I'll just start, bubble all of them in or put points at all of them. Those are all vertices. All right. Now the last piece of information that we need to talk about, um, this word diagonal. I would say sides, vertices, you probably have a good understanding of what those are. Diagonals are a little bit different and we'll talk about them. Diagonals are segments so a segment that can that connects excuse me that connects any two non consecutive vertices all right that's what a diagonal is now let me explain this word non consecutive non consecutive if i were to take this vertex and this vertex and connect them well those are con consecutive vertices and when I connect them, I actually form a side. So I would not form a diagonal there. What I'm looking for is non-consecutive. So let me start at this vertex, skip this one, and then go to this one. If I draw in this line, or that segment, I should say, this is a diagonal. All right, let's do another. If I start at this vertex, and I draw in, let's see, I skip this. Oh, I come over here. All right, so I draw this. That is also a diagonal. All right, so diagonals are formed by connecting two non-consecutive vertices. What I want you to also understand is something like this is also a vertex, or sorry, a diagonal. All right, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But this is also a diagonal, even though it's not within the shape. All right, so now that we have an idea about what vertices are, sides, diagonals, let's jump in to how we name polygons. All right, so we come down here to the next section. I think you guys probably know most of these. We know that a three-sided polygon is a triangle. Here's the big one. A four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. Five, pentagon. Six, hexagon. 
Seven, heptagon. Eight, octagon, like a stop sign. Nine, nonagon. Ten, decagon. Twelve, dodecagon. And then my favorite, when I don't know the number of sides or it's greater than twelve, for all I care, I just say I have an n-gon. All right, that's the easy one. All right, um, this is something that I expect you to know. All right, I expect you to know that a seven-sided figure is a heptagon, and I might quiz you on that. I might ask you to know that. So please remember that. All right. Um, we move on to the very bottom. These are just kind of some extra things that we need to talk about when we when we talk about polygons. Polygons can be regular or irregular. All right, and a polygon is regular if it is both equilateral and equiangular. Please make sure you underline the word and. It has to be both. Not one, not the other, both. It has to be both. And then of course, and I think I already said it, if a polygon is not regular, then we call it irregular. And we're gonna see on the next page what I really mean by that. All right? So I think we have just like a couple more definitions and then we'll get into some practice problems and examples. Yeah, a few more, a few more definitions and then we'll practice. All right. So concave and convex. A polygon is concave if, wait, what did I? Oh, a polygon is concave if any part of a diagonal contains points in the exterior of the polygon. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little lost. All right, so a polygon is concave if any part of the diagonal contains points on the exterior. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is something like my picture over here. All right. When I go back to this picture, if you noticed my original shape, and I'm going to highlight it again just so you really know what I'm talking about here, this was my original polygon. And then if you remember, I started drawing in diagonals. So I drew this diagonal, and it's in, inside. It's the interior. And this diagonal is interior. And if I drew this diagonal, it's interior, and so on and so on. But what I want you to understand is that I also drew this diagonal. Right? This diagonal, is this inside the polygon? Is it inside? No, it's on the exterior. So the, because there is a diagonal on the exterior of the polygon, then we call it concave. And one other thing that I think is also helpful, do you see this polygon is kind of caved in? You see how I have this polygon and it's kind of caved in, concave? All right, so this is what I mean. If any diagonal is in the exterior of the polygon, it has to be concave. All right? So that is why we write that up at the top. Now, for convex, it's basically the opposite, right? So if no diagonal contains points in the exterior, then it's convex. And we say that a regular polygon always has to be convex. I don't know if that's super important to know, but it could save you a little bit of time on a quiz or a test. All right? All right, so I think the best way to really understand this is just to, to jump in and start kind of going back and forth um, with the notes to, to answer these questions. All right, so if we read together as we move down to the examples, this is saying that we want to determine whether each figure is a polygon. If it is, name it by the number of sides. If it's not, explain why. All right, so number one, hopefully you agree with me. This is not a polygon. And I need to explain why. Well, we can go back to our definition of polygon and see that a polygon has to be a closed plane figure. Is this a closed plane figure? No. Not closed. That's my explanation, right? That's all I need to write. Because it's not closed, I know it's not a polygon. Now, when we move on to something like number two, let's take a look. Um, 
we have a closed plane figure. Um, it looks like all of the sides are just meeting at the endpoints. Nothing's crossing. Everything's a, everything is a segment. I think this is a polygon. And because it's a polygon, we need to now label it, or name it, I should say. Name it by the number of sides. So let's make sure we count. We have one side, two sides, three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides, seven sides, eight sides. So even though it doesn't look like a regular octagon, this is an octagon because there are eight sides. Unless I miscounted. If I did miscount, fix, fix it and correct me tomorrow. Okay? Okay. If we take a look at the next one, if we take a look at number three, Number three, I don't, it could be tricky, all right? What I need you to understand is we're talking about the whole shape, all right? This whole figure. Is this whole figure, if we compare, if we look at the whole thing together, is it a polygon? And the answer is actually no, not a polygon. I would say that if I just look at this bottom half, right, well, that's a polygon. Or if I look at the top half, well, that's a polygon. But together, these are not a polygon. All right, and the reason is, is because segments connecting at point other, I can't spell, other than endpoint. All right, that's the reason why. This guy, this right here, is the reason why. Because normally, my sides are only supposed to connect at the endpoints, the endpoints. Do you see how this side and this side are connecting right there? Not at an endpoint. All right, so that right there is the reason why this is not a polygon. Now, the last one, number four, I'd say is hopefully one of the easier ones. This is also not a polygon. And it's not a polygon because we have to know polygons are made up of sides. And sides have to be, it's another S word, segments. Okay? Segments have to be straight, like pieces of a line, right? A line segment has to be a piece of a line, so it has to be straight. So we're going to say this is not a polygon because it has curved lines or something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's curved, all right? It, these are not segments. So that is why that is not a polygon. Okay. Um, let's jump down to these last examples. This is where we're going to jump into words like regular, irregular, concave, convex. All right, so let's slide this down a little bit. I don't know if I can make it any bigger. Let's see. No. Okay. All right. Remember what we mean by regular or irregular. Regular means both equilateral and equiangular. So if I look at something like number five, I can see they're equilateral because all of my sides have the same tick mark, all of my angles have the same arc mark, so this is definitely regular. It is both equiangular and equilateral. Is it concave or convex? Well, concave, convex, remember, we have to draw in diagonals. Or we have to think about the diagonals, at least. If I draw diagonals, can I draw a diagonal in the exterior? I don't think so. Like, if I draw this diagonal, these diagonals, if I draw, if I draw this, 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 if I keep going, if I draw all of them, I end up getting that all of my diagonals are inside the polygon. They're the interior. And we know that the only way something's going to be concave is if there is a diagonal outside the polygon or in the exterior. So because there's nothing happening outside, we're going to call this convex. If you remember, we could also use our shortcut from up above that regular polygons always have to be convex. But again, I kind of want you, I'd rather you understand why something's convex rather than just use that shortcut. All right, as we move on to the next one, I hopefully... Well, I, I hope you guys understand right off the bat. This is irregular. I can tell because these have double double tick marks and these have single. So they're not all the same sides. So it's already not equilateral, which means we have to be irregular. And now we have to look and see, are there any diagonals that would occur outside 
the polygon or in the exterior? And I would say absolutely, right? If I draw this from this endpoint to this endpoint, that diagonal is outside of the polygon. So it's concave. Again, the other way to think about it, this polygon is caved in. It's caved in. All right? Cool. All right, we look at 7. 7, just be careful. It has to be equilateral and equiangular. I would say equiangular, equiangular, we're good. They're all 90 degree angles. But equilateral, I have single ticks and doubles. So once again, this is irregular. And now we test to see if we're convex or concave. And we try to think about the diagonals. I could draw this diagonal. I could draw this diagonal. Those are both inside the polygon. So we have to be convex. There's no diagonals outside. If we take a look at something like 8, well, 8's actually the opposite. Now I have, we're equilateral, right? I have the same ticks, but now my angles are different, different arcs, different arc marks. Okay, so once again, this is irregular because it's not both equilateral and equiangular. And also, this is convex, right? I draw my diagonals, they're inside, convex. Moving right along, almost done. Let's take a look. Um, okay, I see all the same ticks. I see all the same arcs, arc marks, I should say. So this is regular. And we know that if we drew in all of the diagonals, they would all be within the polygon. So once again, we are convex. And our last one, my favorite one, this one is a good example of you have to be you have to be really careful all right um, I have all of the same tick marks so I would say that this is equilateral equiangular though I see that these angles have the same arc mark but I'm missing some arc marks right there are other angles here there's an angle here that I'd have to put a different arc mark and here and here and here so are all of the angles the same no this is a single arc this is a double arc. So we are once again irregular. And hopefully you agree, oops, sorry. Hopefully you agree with me that I could definitely draw a diagonal outside of the polygon, right? Which means that this is concave. Again, the other option if you don't like drawing in the diagonals, this is caved in. This side is caved in, so it's concave. All right? Okay, so this was a super long video, lots of explaining and talking, but hopefully if you watch this once or twice, you're going to be like golden with this stuff. I hope it's not too tough. I hope it's making sense. We'll practice it, of course. Make sure to ask me questions, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.